Hi everybody, welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. And Viva. And Pete Head, <laughs> guessing, <laughs> guessing in early. We Beastie is not yet in the spreadsheet. But you know, Pete Head picked our blind b- bottle from last week and we hadn't had Pete for a while. But we forgot to give you your fireworks for, for guessing. <laughs> so <laughs> let's start off with some fireworks for Pete Head while we um, work out what we're going to do. So where is the timer? For the next 12 minutes, we are going to work our way through tasting blind bottle number 91 out of 200. So pretty light, isn't it? Pretty light. And we can confirm. Yes. Pete Head. (laughs) Not, I mean, yes, it is heavily peated, but. But more of a sweet freshness. Yeah. I mean, it's quite a sweet peat, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Not medicinal. Fresh. Not medicinal. So probably not a Laphroaig. No, I'm not Gary Gamiga stuff. Well, I get a bit of plasticine on this watered-down one. And also, it's a, a, a bit of damp garden shed. A bit damp garden shed? Like, well, Dunnage. Dunnage Warehouse. Oh, I mean, that very beaded. Okay, but it is more... Oh, it's not very peaty. No, okay, let's just have a sip on full strength. Oh. Even not that strong. I was going to say the opposite. Oh, that's powerful compared to the watery one. Mm. Oh, no, I'm getting yummy peat. It's beautiful peat. Oh, but the pepper. It is quite peppery, but it could just be the strength, right? Let's see what we're going to get on strength. No, I Let's see. That's quite a lot of bubbles. Whoops. Could it be 46? I think it's going to be higher. That definitely looks higher than 46. 48? Okay, that's closer. Although, it looks like it could be stronger than that, right? 50? Okay, those bubbles are looking pretty close. Wow, the peppers are a bit too much yeah. for me. But after that, like it, it's sweet at first but then you know I was getting um, where's my picture I was getting a lot of barley I don't think there's anything whiny in here but maybe a tiny bit but the pepper is kind of a bit overpowering it's almost coming across like this at the moment so slightly bitter cereal pepper is less now that I've had a few sips Mm. but fine spiky pepper relatively short finish except for the power I'm not really getting any barrel influence like I'm I'm not tasting very oaky woody things I don't think I'm getting anything sherry or wine maybe the tiniest of hints ooh um it does not ever shock it's big as well well, <laughs> start with the we've had this soft. before though. Remember when we had Port Charlotte heavily peated, we were like, oh, this is pretty mild peat. Mm. And I was sort of having the same feeling. It's pretty mild. And I thought, but maybe it, it could be a Port Charlotte heavily peated. I actually wanted to compare. I'm going to jump in with a comparison for a minute. Peat Monster, also not very monstrous peat. And it's only 46%. Okay, there's much less peat on the nose on this compared to 91. Oh yeah, that's much more rounded, isn't it? Integrated, a lot less spiky. Is that a proper? Yeah, it's had all the edges polished off, but that's what I liked about Peat Monster. Is this better than Peat Monster? Uh, I think I prefer this. Let's see, it's the first shelf comparison. Because I'm getting uh, that um, mm. fresh sweetness of battery. Yeah. It's beautiful. The maltiness is coming through. But, oh, the pepper, though, is kind of taking a but mark I'm down from it. Me. Okay, people. It is Kilhoman versus Port Charlotte. It's, it's a beat. <laughs> is Kilhoman peated? Deepa? Yeah. We've been to the distillery. We have walked the floor. We have seen the peat. How can you ask such a question? I mean, not a monster. 
Kilhoman is typically about half the peat level of Ardbeg, I would say. Port Charlotte is supposed to be higher, but you know, they make Octomore and we have found Octomore to be not that peated no. on the few samples we've had. One of these, the eighth edition, I think has sherry in. So I'm going to take that one out. That's not gonna be my choice. We had this on the malting floor. And if it is this, I'm going to be disappointed because I expect this to be a richer, deeper. So I guess I'm in Port Charlotte world as well. Mm. Time's up. Port Charlotte 10 or Isla Barley. All right. Ready for the reveal. <laughs> Here we go. It's 50%. It cost us, oh, it's six years old. Hang on, is that a kill so they, they, uh, then. Uh, uh. Six years old, it cost $61. Oh. It is an Isla. It is Port Charlotte, Isla Barley. Hey, <laughs> I think that is one. Oh, another the one moment, for deeper. The moment I took the first step, I was getting the fresh ice sparry. So I, I, I think it's going to go up on the top shelf. It's going to go up near Beaumont somewhere. Somewhere up there. We'll sort it out later. Deeper, pick a bottle, your side, somewhere on the top of the shelf. This is going to be number number 92. 92. Well, medium dark, isn't it? Oh, it's a good one. Where would you put it on the shelf? <laughs> we will see you on Sunday. Thanks all for, for joining. I'm gonna have a little sip.